Should you get one of these? No, thank you. Do you even know what this is? This is a fitness board, and it's completely changed my life. Forget everything you thought you knew about ab workouts. Done. Numerous health benefits. Strengthens your back. Better performance in sports. More enjoyable sex. You're not having sex. How much was that again? I uh, just 25 bucks. All right. Got scared. <laughs> oh my god! My fitness orb! Welcome to Ali's Cave 101. <laughs> Alright, so this is my kind of sort of new office. Um, we have a room downstairs that was part of like the garage, so I decided to put like a little backdrop here, getting a lot of questions on where I got this. I just got it on Amazon, it's just like a normal little drape looking thing. Um, I have all my ghost bottles here, I have my desktop to edit, my little laptop, my ring light, um, and I needed like a board and stuff. I'm getting like a new calendar. Uh, that I'm gonna set up here. And so it's, you know, I just set this up last night. Um, there's still a lot more work to do. I wanna get like a, a lot more lights, make it more cozy, get some like organizers um, to set up all my binders and stuff here. But this is what we got so far. All right, so I'm going to uh, stay here for a little bit. I have a bunch of emails to answer. I have um, a new program that I'm working on. So I'll do that for a couple hours and then I will catch you guys on the, on the flip, okay. <laughs> I got like a shit ton of Lacroix flavors and then this is like my new thing right now. I don't know why, I'm just craving like sparkling water with ice. <laughs> just like, I sip on like three of these a day. All right, we're going to set you up. I just spit all over the screen. <laughs> Hello, hi. How you doing? All right, so guys, okay, so I kind of want to show you I have a little mornings in the alley life. We got the smoothies, the nutrients, the water. I do yoga now, a little bit of work. So I wanted to kind of just have a little chit chat with you guys um, on the truth about my new life. I don't know. <laughs> I know it sounds super freaking dramatic, um, but I kind of wanted. I have a bunch of things that I wanted to share with you guys um, on a deep level, and um, in hopes that it can help some of you. If you feel this way, if you have felt this way before, if you're looking for ways to kind of move forward, um, I'm really hoping that this will help you um, the way that it's helped me in my personal life. You know, if you're watching this video. You probably know a little bit about me, you probably follow my journey, and you know that I'm I'm quite present on social media. I post all day every day about like goofy stuff, my workouts, my recipes, my family, and I preach always smiling and being positive and having all that kind of like energy, you know. But honestly, lately um, in my life, I feel like I'm I'm preaching all that stuff, and I'm not really feeling that in my personal life. Um, I moved back about two months ago from college, and it's kind of been like a overwhelming dark feeling ever since I moved back to be quite honest. Um, I just kind of wanted to 
share that with you guys and show you guys like what I'm doing to uh, to change that, what I'm going through. Um, just because like you can't just share you know the good stuff on social media. If you're if you're deciding to get involved in this world, I feel like I kind of owe it to you guys to just kind of always be transparent on like where I am in my life and what what I'm doing to kind of get better. You know what I'm saying? So ever since these two months, I kind of feel like my personal life it's kind of like a dark feeling that I have which sounds really really bad <laughs> like it actually sounds depressing but it's it's really not I mean you know everybody goes through phases in life where you know it's a little bit more sad or, or happier than others um, and I think that right now was just like a really big big chapter of my life that I kind of like I just didn't really like grasp what that meant and all the changes that that implied you know I didn't think it was gonna be this hard um, in terms of just career wise financially um, emotionally I've just been kind of like a freaking mess a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Honestly, I moved back. I had all these um, ambitions, all these plans, all these goals, and I kind of put a lot of pressure on myself. I set like just such unrealistic goals for myself because I don't have the business background or, or anything like that. I mean, being a paleoanthropologist major, um, I'm you know I just kind of like thought I'd jump into this business world and kind of start my own stuff, and that's just totally not how it works. <laughs> I'm learning all these new things and I'm realizing that I was just completely way off. So that aspect has been very, very tough just because like you're not seeing your ideas and your project coming to life just because there's so many extra steps, there's so many things that you didn't account for or anything like that. So that was, that was my fault for making like unrealistic goals, um, you know, but that was very stressful. And then of course there's a whole emotional aspect to this where I, I don't really feel like at home here yet. It took me a very long time to have my own space here just having a different life i'm very very independent and just being back here with my family um, not really having my own space or you know having to adjust to their life i mean essentially i'm moving back into their life you know having a different gym here that i don't really like as much i'm still looking for different gyms at the moment uh, but i don't really like that one i don't feel as comfortable so my workouts haven't been as great um the stress and because i'm not moving forward causes me to just like have even less energy the next day and then like i'm not on point with my diet because i'm just not motivated i'm essentially leaving my best friend ever like gabby i i miss her so much like it's not even i'm literally gonna tear up everybody relax um yeah it literally makes me tear up like just talking about it but um um she was essentially my best my best friend you know i mean we okay we're gonna take a break because I don't know what's happening. I mean, we lived together for two years. I mean, she was the person that I went to for every single thing in my life. You know, when you live with somebody like that, like 24 seven, you basically share the same life. So that's also losing a best friend and um, moving back here, having to kind of like start from the bottom in a brand new life, essentially with a different routine, different, um, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm being so emotional right now. Everybody needs to relax. <laughs> essentially every single aspect of my life has been just it's just been affected like in <laughs> this move you know um and it's been really really tough i've never experienced anxiety attacks i've never experienced you know trouble sleeping like that i mean you know i remember being in school and having to be stressed so much and have tests and everything and that was that was very real on its own but this is just like a whole new level of like finding your life's purpose and it's and it's just a huge a um, very scary but also exciting uh, chapter in my life right now and it gets really hard but I kind of wanted to share what I've been feeling lately um, all these different mixed feelings and emotions that I have kind of bottled up and one night I was just in bed and I just like started bursting out crying and I didn't know where it was coming from like everything was just like so overwhelming that I couldn't even like pin down one thing that made me that sad you know and it was just like a, like an overall very very dark feeling and and i don't want this to be like like a pity pity party and i'm not trying to i'm not complaining by any means you know what i'm saying um i'm so totally aware of how lucky i am of the position that i'm in and being able to go on these trips and work with these amazing companies like i'm i'm fully aware of how lucky i am but it, regardless of that sometimes you just go through periods in your personal life where um, there's something missing or you need to change something, you know, so I woke up that next day and I was like, all right This is it. I'm getting my shit together today If I don't like this routine if I don't feel grounded if I don't feel at home that I'm going to make this 
my new home and I'm going to make this my new life and I'm going to get back into a healthy positive mindset so um, if you're going through something um, in life right now if you're if you're trying to change some aspects of your life if you can relate on some level with these feelings um, I would highly suggest getting organized like that was the first step I went and I got a binder and a notebook and I wrote down everything that I wanted to accomplish daily weekly monthly and then I didn't go into yearly because that's just freaking that's just another level but um, at least something like big big picture goals that I have for the next three months um, and I kind of like set all that up I color-coded it I'll show you guys like what I did after um, but that helped tremendously I actually have a better one on my board now but um, this is the first day that I had my little my little crazy attack I left out the weekends that day but I already wrote like what I was gonna do at what time just to kind of like feel a little bit less overwhelmed you know definitely definitely get organized cross things off your list. Uh, secondly, a huge thing that I realized in my new life is that um, I, you know, when I was in Gainesville, I had class all day. I was walking from class to class, doing all that, and then I would go lift. Um, so I was actually active throughout my day and then, you know, was weightlifting and training at the gym. However, this new life, my job is, aside from shoots and like expos, um, it is on my computer or on my phone all day, every day. So I realized like maybe the lack of sleep and all of that is because I'm not exerting as much energy as I used to and I didn't even like realize that until way later but I was like I can't just be active for an hour and a half a day and like go training I was like I need some type of cardio I need to walk somewhere I need to do something active in my day so I started implementing you guys probably saw my stories tennis and rollerblading again which are activities that I absolutely loved uh, back in the day that's part of my new schedule twice a week I'm going to be playing tennis um, very intensely with my family um, on top of the gym and then um, the other days I'm going to rollerblade with my little music you know just be active in your day like exercising helps so much I went through a phase where I was like oh my god I'm so tired of not being able to sleep I'll just go with like melatonin or like the strongest dose of like I don't know I was looking at different supplements um, and I was like this is so not the way to go like I should always always look for the healthiest most natural way um, of resolving an issue so I thought in my life was just adding more um, you know activity in my day like aside from just weightlifting and training so that helped a lot now mentally there are two things going on this new life that I don't attend school if you're not actively trying to make time to get brain gains and just get your brain moving um you don't really like life doesn't really like do that and that made me really sad because i absolutely love learning new things i love having something to talk about i love just knowing like what's going on around me you know and um but i've definitely made more time to look into cool podcasts there's online books i'm actually reading um a, a physical book at the moment but uh, there's so many different ways to kind of like get your brain going and to just feel like you're also like you're not only moving in some aspects of your life but also you know becoming a more intelligent person like as you grow and i think that's very very important um now i know it's very difficult to kind of like implement that in your life once you already have a routine of your own and a job and maybe kids and a, and a husband but there are ways to do that and that's why i talk about podcasts and stuff on my ig so much because you can actually listen to that on the go anywhere now like if you're grocery shopping just put in your little headphones you know i started a routine in my life where after um the gym now i do a little bit of cardio and not only does it get my heart pumping but also um that's my that's kind of like my time to you know find new new cool discoveries or whatever interests me i'm really into science and cosmos uh, so i love to listen to that but believe it or not that actually helps me feel a lot better about myself just knowing that i'm also um, you know just learning new things daily like it's very important when it comes to diets I was slacking a little bit with that too so I've decided to take that to the next level be a little bit more strict so um, I am now meal prepping a little bit I'm not actually tracking every single meal that I eat but I, I am baking in bulk which I'll show you guys after I'll add a little clip of uh, some chicken that I'm going to bake today for the rest of the week um, you know just kind of like getting my protein intake back up um, having healthy things already made in the fridge so that i don't just grab whatever is easier and and probably like shittier <laughs> for my health um and just kind of like getting slowly back on track with that you know plan 40 minutes out of your day and just like bake for the week just even if it's just some steamed veggies just some protein um you know you don't have to actually diet down and count everything you eat and have them into like tupperwares but just have like bulk 
healthy things that you can just grab and uh, you know not feel guilty about that has helped me tremendously in terms of staying on track with my diet now um, spiritually because I was feeling so you know sad and uh, because of other things that can't just be fixed with lists and tasks <laughs> I decided to get a little bit more involved with my spirituality and that may sound a little bit hippie um, <laughs> honestly, I was really really big into yoga before um, which I absolutely loved but then life started getting a little bit more hectic and uh, you know how that shit goes uh, so I decided to make time to uh, to join classes and get back into that slowly because that did make me feel a lot better in terms of like meditation um, learning to like breathe better and kind of like relax and clear your mind even if it's you know for an hour twice a week um, that does really really help just to feel more grounded and more at peace you know so I did join yoga classes and I'm doing yoga you know every morning now on my deck um, which makes me feel absolutely amazing I'm just setting away time that is not being you know used to its best and I'm um, and I'm turning that into things that make me truly happy and that fill up my heart, you know. So I mean, you guys know that I love painting, I love drawing, I love playing guitar, piano. Uh, so I'm taking that very, very seriously. And as soon as I have free time, I uh, I'm kind of like fitting those things in my day. Um, and even though it's it's you know essentially leisure things, um, you, you can't even imagine the the impact that it has on your actual like overall well being. You know, to do things where you feel connected um, and kind of like just at peace with yourself, um, it helps a lot, you know. So whatever it may be, if you like, you know, golfing or fishing or, or playing some instruments, like just make the time in your day to kind of like get your inner creativity out and have time with yourself for yourself, you know. So I've put all these little things in place in my life. It's only been about, you know, nine days <laughs> that I'm kind of doing all this. Um, on a on a day to day like actually sticking to everything and I already feel like a freaking new person So I just really really wanted to come on here and not only share like, you know what I've been feeling lately But how I resolved my issues and what I'm doing to keep moving forward and to switch things that I'm not happy with in my life Around you know, and I know that those were very specific issues in my life, but feelings that that caused uh, within myself, I know that many of you guys share these feelings. I know that many of you guys have been in my position. I know that some of you are very stressed, feel overwhelmed. You know, if you're not happy with something, essentially just freaking change it. Just whatever you have to do. Just try different things in your life, man. And I promise you, I already feel so much better. I feel like I'm accomplishing a lot more. I feel like my life is just overall more organized. And when you feel good, you just do good you know that sounds really freaking cliche and when you also feel good about yourself physically it also has a huge impact like people kind of downplay that but feeling good about yourself what you put in your body feeling like you're you know healthy um just kind of gives you a glow that's very contagious to everybody else in your life and that's very important as well you know on that note i hope that these uh, little tips helped i hope that you guys got to know a little bit more um about me on a deeper level i don't know and um i will show you guys i don't know what's going on breaking down the walls and shit <laughs> a little bit of like my notes and stuff that i wasn't able to point out and then uh, we're gonna bake some chicken and then i'm gonna hit the gym and just continue my day slaying life Yes, girl. Okay, that was really freaking cringe. My little notebook here where I put my to-do things, my vlog ideas, like all the things I have to kind of get done. Um, this is like monthly, this is weekly, and then I wrote down like fitness goals and then like new routines. I have my little to-do list for the day as well. Here we have kind of the same thing, but those are kind of like check mark things. So for now, this is where we're at. I know it's a lot, but actually when you organize it in your head and everything has its own place, for different things you know what i'm saying it's a lot easier to just kind of like be organized and all that stuff so that is it fam let's make some motherfucking chicken So since this is actually chicken that I'm baking for the rest of the week, I'm gonna do half um, with barbecue and then the other one with Thai curry just to kind of like switch up the flavors, you know? I finally have the house to myself for a few minutes. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Happy alley time!
I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to do a little thumbs up. Um, comment below anything that you want to hear next. If there's anything you want me to cover, um, just let me know. And hope you guys enjoyed. I also forgot to say, don't forget to be kind, be nice, be positive, drink your water. Yes, go. Can I get a yes girl in the house? Drink your water. <laughs> Peace out.